No matter what your religion, nationality, or culture, we are all the same. Everyone is associated with a country. In many instances, borders separate us and cause conflict, but something that everyone is in common, we are all human, and with that, we are all the same. There are not many people, if any, who have been able to get this message through more than a young man named Nikozi. Nikozi was born into a world of poverty. Much worse, Nikozi was born with a disease that would end his life prematurely. He simply never had the chance to live a long-lasting life from the first day on Earth. Nikozi was born in 1989 by his loving mother, Daphne. Daphne was unfortunately diagnosed with AIDS shortly after having Nikozi, with a grim diagnosis for both her and her son. While the heartbreak and headache that Nikozi felt from early on as a child is hard to fathom, the last years of his life, he was able to live his life as a happy child, helping bring change to a developing country. Nikozi was born in a village whose name is unknown. Some have said it simply does not have a name anymore. When his mother was gravely ill and could no longer care for her child, a woman named Gail Johnson took in Nikozi and raised him as her own child. Gail was an outspoken individual on AIDS and HIV and was looking for those who have been afflicted with a disease to get help that they needed. It would be the combination of both Nikozi and Gail who would help bring support for those who needed it most. Nikozi was a normal child in the sense that he was able to play, laugh, and have fun with his friends and family. Unlike his friends, Nikozi had a message in a fight that he needed fought to be brought to the forefront in a fight for himself and those who were and are suffering from the brutal disease. Nikozi became the face of HIV AIDS, not just in South Africa, but across the world. Nikozi was able to humanize those who have HIV AIDS in the minds of those who were ignorant and have not educated themselves about the brutal disease. In part, there had been no help for those with the disease because there was just too much known, not known about. A vast percentage of the South African population was afflicted with the disease. Yet because of the lack of knowledge and information on the disease, the pres- president did not nothing to help those who had it. Nikozi was able to humanize the disease and that those who had the disease were, for, were worth fighting for and those individuals are a productive part of society. Nikozi's most famous, possibly most important appearance was during the International AIDS Conference. The book We Are the Same came about because of Nikozi's famous quote, Care for Us. Accept us, we are all human beings, we are normal, we have hands, we have feet, we can walk, we can talk, we have knees just like everyone else. Don't be afraid of us, we are all the same. We are all the same, something that resonated with the world. And Cozy would also go on to make another quote. Don't be afraid of us, we are all the same. Can't get AIDS, we can touch, hug, kiss, hold hands with someone who was infected. These quotes would go on to help lament Nikozi's legacy one who fought hard for those in this situation. Nikozi lived longer than any child from South Africa born with a disease. Unfortunately, he could not extend his life past 2001, where he tragically succumbed to the disease. Nikozi fought hard for himself and those like him. When people with a disease had no one in their corner, no one fighting for them in their care, and Nikozi, as a child, did just that. Nikozi was able to get those who needed care, care. Nikozi was the one who used the global platform to get help for those who needed it. It was Nikozi who was selfless, knowing he has limited time on earth. He used much of that time to help others, not just himself. There are millions of people who now are not able to get to extend their life, receive care and medication, and help it tremendously with their disease. All this in major part to a young child in his care and fight for other people. Nikozi's legacy will forever live on as people no matter their socioeconomic status, racial, religion, can now receive the care and treatment that they need and deserve. Just always keep in mind what Nikozi knew more than most, we are all the same.